AI is advancing at rapid speeds, and there's one critical development that's happening, and I don't think enough marketers are taking advantage of it. Now, I'm not proposing that you take this and develop a new skill and let it be a distraction on your business, but assuming you have a software, a product, or service that you already sell, I think this is an incredible opportunity to add an additional asset as a lead magnet, a low ticket offering, or just an additional value driver for your core business. For many local businesses, status is so valuable. The idea of having their name on a billboard feels like the dream they've always grown up with. And so now thanks to the tools that are happening in Google and other AI video sources, you can create assets that they otherwise would have imagined cost tens of thousands of dollars. And so to give those away for free as a lead magnet, for low ticket, or as just a free add-on to your service, it is incredibly compelling. In this video, I'm gonna walk through the workflow that I've been playing around with that has to do with ChatGPT for ideation and Google Flow or Google Veo. Uh, it's Veo 3, it's their AI video engine. It is probably the best in the market. It's the big driver behind what you might've been seeing with like the vlogging Yeti or the, the vlogging Stormtrooper and all these sort of comical AI videos that are coming out that are generating tens of millions of views on social media, you can generate photorealistic videos in very little time and do it in a way where it feels very significant, very valuable to the business. So let's dive into my computer screen and walk you through this process. I actually wanted to show you, this is inside of my chat GPT here. My prompt was, can you help create a 30 second commercial for window washing and break it into scene prompts for Google Veo? Very small prompt. Um, but look what it does immediately. It comes with this idea of a scene here called see the difference. There's a dirty window. They've got the text on screen, some audio voiceover, and they've broken it into, you know, scene one through scene five. Google Veo, one of the limitations is it only generates eight second clips. And so this is perfect. If I wanted a 30 second commercial, if I've got five scenes up to eight seconds there, that's 40 seconds of content and I can cut it down from there. Then it actually prompted me, do, do you want me to generate each one of these in a full Veo style prompts? Yes, I do, please. <laughs> That's all I said is yes, please. And so here it gave me something actually usable. So they've got even titles for these scenes. So you've got the problem, the arrival, the work, before and after, and the close. And so at this point, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and copy and paste each one of these into Google Veo. So Veo Flow, Flow is kind of the video builder inside of Google. Veo is the actual AI engine and they've got Veo 3 or Veo 2. This does cost, I think $250 a month on Google's Ultra Plan. So it's their highest priced AI plan. However, when you get a glimpse of this, it dramatically outperforms even some of the wrappers that are using Google Veo. And um, it's so easy to use. So just imagine, what I'm doing here on this video, you could be doing yourself and pick your industry, pick your business, and uh, let's start creating. So I'm gonna use text to video. They do use kind of like a token-based system or a credit-based system. And so you've got number of outputs you want. I think it defaults to two, but they don't charge you. Um, I don't believe that each generation, well, if it does, their cost is, is associated. I think it's calculated there, but so if I've got two, that's the default. The um, engines here, we've got Veo the fast, uh, Veo two fast, which uses half the amount of credits, Veo three quality, which is um, five times the amount of credits of the fast model there, or 10 times the amount of credits of the two fast, and uh, Veo two quality is also there. And it kind of gives you an understanding of like Veo three's got beta audio, Veo two's no audio um, at all, and, and Veo three, you got like the beta audio, but the highest quality and uh, the fastest production. For our purposes, I'm gonna use fast, but I have heard of folks using uh, Veo 2 fast as a way to kind of get uh, an understanding of the scene and uh, figure out the best way that they wanna prompt it. But I'm fine to use Veo 3 for our purposes. So I'm just gonna paste this in, all of that. You actually do have the ability to do ingredients to video, which will, um, as an example here, as you're starting to do this at scale, you could add some ingredients like the logo for the actual business, which um, as you can imagine, would be really delightful for that business. But for right now, we're just gonna do text to prompt and I'll show you how we build this. So we've got our first shot there. 
Now that we have our first scene, there's an option to add to scene. And this is sort of like the flow builder where you should be like, oh, I can add these scenes together. And it has like a, you know, you can extend the world and kind of can keep prompting there and building that way. Or you can kind of like do a jump to and put in a new prompt, like a jump to a new scene there. My recommendation at this point is actually to just keep them as individual generations, all part of the same product and download them and then reassemble them in a different editor like a cap cut or an adobe um the actual like scene builder here and then generating from like the next scenes has not been the most effective and it generates one scene and so it's like great for continuity and this is i think what some people use for like the vlogging character style because using the same character in the same space and you're just sort of like expanding the storyline for this, where you've got individual scenes, different scenarios, and you want to see different versions of it, or if you wanted to be like, okay, one of them is just this video, and then another one of them I want to do, you know, using ingredients to the video, you can't do that in the flow editor. So I think of it as like I use it's technically flow and veo to create the actual scenes, and then I'm going to assemble those in an editor, and then also put a different audio overlay. I, I find that like the other audio engines like 11 labs um, that are specialized into voiceovers do a better job than than the native Google Veo version. So we're going to try out the ingredients here um, with our second prompt, because at this point we're using the we've got the business. I'm going to show you how I could use the same prompt and introduce different ingredients. So we have this. Um, however, we're going to add in an actual window washing logo. So this is fine touch window cleaning. And we're gonna change the prompt out to, uh, to make sense here. So we've got at fine touch window cleaning. There's our logo. And so we're going to use ingredients. We got the text ingredients. We got the logo there. I'm going to use this to prompt that scene. Oh, and it looks like we're going to need to switch over to video to quality to use the ingredients here. Just a note as this is processing, I have found that the actual editor can be sensitive. So I did not intend to build this in flow um, as a set, you know, in the scene builder there. I was actually thinking I was, I was generating a new clip to download. Um, but I, I say once it starts, let it run the full process there. Don't try to give it extra commands or adjust settings as it's going. Just step away, make a coffee. It usually takes less than a couple of minutes to, to process, even in like the long complex mode. And that's because these are inherently short scenes. It's only up to eight seconds. And um, and so you can see there, you know, a few minutes at a time. And that's why this whole process could take you less than an hour and generate something that would be incredibly valuable for the business. To finish the generation, we're going to look at the actual scene here from the smudgy window that we chose to this other cut in. Now, my preference would actually be to generate it as its own instead of in the flow builder, because as you see, when you do it this way, you only get one option, but it's still a great example to look at. And so you see he's walking, he's in slow motion, but you can see the logo is actually on the side of the truck there. And so for a business owner, you, you saw what it took. I took the prompt from OpenAI, I gave it the ingredient of their actual logo there, and you instantly have a scene of like a window washer walking and it looks like probably one of their vans and it's definitely their logo and their branding on there. And so the cool part about this is you could imagine how this is reproducible for additional folks and it doesn't take a ton of time. This is also why I like to break the scenes up because some of these scenes have their logos, some of their scenes don't have their logos. And so if you get it down to the point where it's like, oh, I'm only replacing two of the five scenes to insert, you use ingredients to get their logos in there. You can imagine kind of like a modular build state here where most of it, you do it once, you can reuse it again and again, certain variables get swapped out 
And that's the process to then generate these videos for these local businesses. I think for, um, you know, for our purposes, I'm going to come back here to the, the overall project flow here, do one more text to video of our prompt. And I'm going to change to our VAO3 fast and see what it comes up with. And so this way it's generating two scenes at the same time. And we get to have like a little option of A or B in terms of what we prefer there. From a workflow inside of Flow, I actually don't prefer the Flow Builder or the kind of Scene Builder tool there because I want to assemble it outside of Google Flow. Um, and so when you're doing it in there, it looks like it's only giving you one option at a time. If you come back to the project, you can actually see it generated multiple options. And so you can kind of also see the difference between VO3 and VO2 in terms of like the photorealistic ability there, how sharp the characters are. Um, but that's the trade-off of ingredients and the ability to use their logo in the scene versus, you know, having it being logoless and kind of more generic. Um, but you see a couple of things that, that it did. It put the logo on the person's outfit on the uniform as well as putting it on the truck and this is like a fully wrapped truck version there and so um in each one of these you uh you get a, a mix and match there but you can imagine how this scene could just be a couple of ingredients as you're coming back and changing it you just go and prompt again change out the ingredient get a different version of the scene and all in all as far as a you know 30 second commercial goes this is pretty impressive what you can generate There's one option there. Streak free results. No hassle. No mess. And I think I might pick the, the first one there. The other thing I've noticed is in terms of like the text overlay, if you want a uh, consistent you know, presentation there, you can actually work with ChatGPT to get that prompting a little bit more specific and it can prompt to sizes, fonts, positioning, whatever it might be there. But how do the gate? most business owners are going to be impressed even if you just put a couple of these together um, and it's going to be these pieces with the ingredients that they're most impressed with because it's their brand it's their logo and um and it looks like you hired an actor to get it done and so hopefully this was helpful to experiment and understand from a chat gpt flow it doesn't take a lot it wasn't a sophisticated prompting there copying and pasting into google flow and using veo um I do recommend actual Google Flow, their full $250 package there because some of the other wrappers have much uh, less photorealistic experiences and a little bit less control over refining the prompt and getting exactly what you want there. But think of building these short video commercials in a modular framework where you've got it into the editor, you're just swapping out a couple scenes that have their ingredients in it. And imagine that as a lead magnet, as a low ticket offering, or it's just a value add to whatever you're currently selling. And I think this is gonna be a huge, huge driver for the next few months, maybe the next year. If you want help with this, this is the kind of stuff you're looking for on a day-to-day -day basis. This is, this is what we do direct in Slack. I'm gonna keep a link down below. You can hop on a demo call with us and see exactly what it looks like to work with us on a day-to-day. -day. But if you're in there discovering and you kind of want to be able to just like ping me inside of Slack and say, hey, how do I do this? That's what we're here for. That's what we're doing HLPT every single day. And I'll see you on the next video.